Hi, I'm Steve Miller, and this is a stock market quick big pick. There are lots of analysts out there right now that are saying, well, the stock market's weak, but before you know it, it's going to be moving up to new highs. I wanted to share my analysis with you, and then you'll have, well, something else to look at and compare. This is one of our charts in here, and I'm going to show you just a basic chart, uh, S&P 500, a weekly chart. And the question is, is this a consolidation or is there big trouble ahead for stocks? Well, many analysts will tell you that what's going on right in here is just another consolidation like we've had over the last 13 years and the stock market moving up again and then moving up to new highs. I'll show you my analysis and you'll get maybe a little different picture. I want you to see here as we begin to apply the S Slim method. Here you have what's looking like a monstrous rally and a stall. You can see that. And the S&P 500 on this weekly chart in this COVID-19 pandemic bubble moved up 120% in 18 months. Went up to historic valuation of 200% to GDP. We've never seen anything like that. And of course, that was engineered by massive uh, spending by the government and the Federal Reserve in their great experiment. So you can see, as we're showing you in here, there is really a, uh, a channel that uh, has this big upside move in it. And then something in here has changed and begin to stall. And we're showing this as now in a downward channel. And I want to show you why as I take our analysis a little further. Here is the next uh, picture in here, and on the bottom, all of a sudden, appeared are these half moons. Those are called cycle brackets. That's just a drawing tool. We use them here, all four of our analysts at Ask Slim, and what they help us is see the rhythms in the market. Essentially, cycles that occur are just money flows in and out. And they represent the heartbeat of the market, as they say, a rhythm. There is a rhythm in here that is seen and with a trained eye. We can really see the movements in here and things that are occur that give us messages. The messages in here that we're seeing are not great. And I'll take this a little further and you'll see why. Here is the next slide. And uh, what you're looking at now is how those cycles actually look in reality. So on the bottom, those cycle brackets are the ideal, as if there was a perfect move up and down exactly. They don't move up and down exactly in the same rhythm. But when they put on certain shapes, we get an idea of bullish or bearish conditions. And I'll show you one of our proprietary indicators in a moment. And you can see a bullish cycle as it just came down a little bit through the corrective period came down a little bit through the corrective period, another one the same way, each one making higher highs, one, two, three, and four cycles making higher highs. Now something is going on here is this rally failed to make a higher high, and there is a message in there. When we look at the next slide, you'll see, well, what do you see that has changed? These arrows are really helping you in what we call the translation of the cyclical patterns. Positive, 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 and this one now ending lower than where it began for the first time in a couple of years. This big break over here, as you see, is the pandemic break, and then this long rally with four cycles making higher highs, and now this one in what we call a negative configuration. And the probability is high if it fails from resistance, it will then put the next cycle in a negative configuration. That means that there's likely a bear market or a decline of some significance way out over here into October of 2022. When I look at the next slide, well, this gives you the supports in there and the projections. Notice here where this fell from what we call the sell zone. This is the 61.8% retracement, and this is the 78.6% retracement level. Often when bear markets begin to form, this fake rally right over here hooks in the bulls and then the market begins to move down. There are many times when even that high was tested by some indexes and then it began to come down again. And here you can see this is where a 20% bear market is. 
in the 3850 area uh, and that would be the major 38 percent retracement here is the 25 percent bear market about 3630 and uh, there's the major 50 percent and here is the 30 percent bear market down here under 3400 in the s p 500 i want you to note that that average bear is about 30 percent decline will this be an average bear will it be a mild bear and fall down here to about 3800 or will it be a very severe bear and get down over here and get to about 3200 you can see that would still only be maybe about 37 percent decline and that would be just a a little more than average bear market so you can see in here that the cyclical patterns are suggestive of a lot of trouble by the way cycle patterns are what create the uh, uh the bigger patterns that we all look at and you can see in here as this is a head and shoulders top that is forming but not yet quite formed when i add in a little more right in here you can see our proprietary indicator on the bottom we have we look at the s slim uh uh uh, ribbon we also look at the slim ribbon PO as we call it and we have a couple other proprietary indicators look at here the slim ribbon PO as it was giving you all of these momentum resumption signals when this is green the momentum is up and it's likely it's going to continue up when it begins to waver and it begins to neutralize it turns blue and then it turns red and you can see in here we just had a downside resumption signal that occurred about two or three weeks ago and this market really looks like in trouble so with all of those uh bulls out there that are still talking about giant upside moves in the market get the you need to get ready for that the probabilities based on our analysis with momentum breaking down and translation breaking down that this is a major bull market top that's forming that is uh, a really important look at it so the probabilities are very high there will not be a move to a new high there will likely be a significant decline in this bear market you want to uh, learn more? Well, this stock market quick big pick uh, is something that uh, we don't bring very often, but I wanted you to get kind of tuned in to what we're looking at. Uh, you can go to the AskSlim.com website and uh, lots of things that you can learn in there about us. Uh, you can look at the membership options right over here. You can look at uh, how you um, learn about uh, our style of trading by going to workshops. And you want to learn about our membership specials, you can write to Matt at AskSlim.com. If you happen to be uh, watching this on YouTube, well, do subscribe to our channel, click the uh, thumbs up, uh, and watch some of our other videos in the playlist. Twitter, follow us at AskSlim. And uh, for uh, any uh, more information on what we do, all you need to do is write to Matt at AskSlim.com. I hope this is very valuable to you because your success is our success.